So I've been craving a photography trip for a while now. And fortunate enough, I was able to head down to Guatemala last week for seven days with my girlfriend. And we were able to explore a very small chunk, but a very beautiful area of this incredible country. And I took some photos, I shot some video as well. And I released a short film actually last week. So if you guys wanna go and check that out, There'll be a link down in the description if you haven't watched that yet. But this video is going to be more about the images that I took and obviously a little bit of the footage as well. I brought along two different cameras on this trip, the GFX 100S and the Fuji X-T5, both of which were great cameras for this particular trip and kind of been my go-to cameras now for the last several road trips and travels that I've been on. Now a little bit about the video as well actually, I brought along this little guy, which is the original Blackmagic Pocket Cinema Camera. Now this is a very old camera, I think it's about 10 years old now, and I recently discovered how incredible the footage looks on these little cameras, so I went ahead and picked one up on eBay. I brought it along on this trip, and needless to say, this footage turned out pretty incredible. It's some of my favorite footage I've ever been able to take on a trip, and I'm really excited to bring this camera along on future travels just because it's so small. It can fit in my pocket like the name suggests. It's a pocket cinema camera and I was able to get some really beautiful footage with this guy. Now throughout this trip we went to a few different locations. The first one being the beautiful Lake Adilan. Now I'll spare you guys by talking too much about this lake but in short this is one of the most beautiful lakes I think I've ever seen with my eyes. It was absolutely stunning. It kind of acts more like an ocean almost with how massive it is uh, but the sunrises were just really incredible where we were staying and we were able to swim all day and take some photos and it was just a really wonderful area to relax and unwind. The next place that we went on our trip was Antigua, which is a really beautiful town, a very ancient and old town. It's actually a UNESCO heritage site in the mountains of Guatemala. There's this region called the Highlands of Guatemala, which is where a lot of these locations are. And we were able to be in Antigua for several days as well, which was just really pretty. Antigua is a really colorful town, um, cobblestone streets everywhere. And I mainly brought around my X-T5 on this section of the trip, shooting just kind of some snapshots of the city, kind of just observing. I don't typically shoot a lot of stuff in cities. Uh, I definitely prefer to shoot in nature if I have my choice. The town of Antigua is just so beautiful. So we had a lot of fun walking around and taking photos.
So hopefully you guys enjoyed some of those images. These are some of my favorite photos I think I've taken on vacation in a very long time. And I think that's probably a combination of both the color palette of Guatemala and also how the light kind of reacts there. It's very different than how the light looks in America. It's harsh, but at the same time, it's kind of has this really nice warm glow to it. I think probably because you're a little closer to the equator, the sun is much stronger. So I had a lot of fun messing around with the light and seeing what I could do in, you know, the different areas that we traveled to. Overall, this is just such a beautiful country, both culturally and, you know, just actual natural beauty. It's a really beautiful place. If you guys ever have the chance to go to Guatemala, I would highly recommend you go check it out. Definitely going to be going back there at some point in the future. But this definitely was one of my favorite trips I've been on in a very long time. Now, before this video wraps up, I did want to take a moment to thank today's sponsor, which is Squarespace, for sponsoring today's episode. Now, as you guys know by now, Squarespace is a longtime supporter of this YouTube channel, and I've been using them for about as long as I can remember. I've had a Squarespace account even really before I started this YouTube channel, and I've always used them for the most part for my photography websites. As someone who doesn't really know how to code, they're just the simplest and easiest way to build a website to display your work, create gallery pages, sell e-commerce products, really anything you need to do Squarespace likely has a way to do it in a very simple way if you guys want to check out Squarespace for yourself there'll be a link down in the description to receive 10% off your first website or domain purchase thank you so much to Squarespace as always for sponsoring this video thanks to you guys for watching we'll see you in the next one